Pete, let's get some starting lineups. First, our visiting Panthers, they're gonna be starting number five, Micah Rands. Number 10, Drew McCaig. Number 11, Ryland Toloza. Number 23, Lucas Perry. And number 24, Braden Erickson. The Panthers are coached by varsity coach Darren McCaig. I guess, of course, it's a varsity coach. It's a varsity matchup. Don't mind me. Words are hard. The Panthers are coached by Darren McCabe. And now for your home court comments. They'll be starting number three, Carter Klingler. Number four, Talon Zider. Number 11, Caleb Stinson. Number 15, the freshman Lane Hook. And number 21, Grant Yaden. Comments are coached by Carl Davis, and we look forward to him coming up after the, or after the game and giving us a post-game wrap-up. Always a good conversation there. Any predictions before we go into the game? I think this is going to be a tough battle. Uh, obviously, the Panthers don't want to lose anything here at the launching pad. Uh, and again, nobody wants to lose anywhere. Hard fought battle all the way to the end then. Want to congratulate our JV Comets for a, I believe it was a 10 point victory over the JV Panthers just 20 minutes ago. Tip to the Comets and we're underway. Close there, Stinson did stay on the backcourt as he threw that pass, three on the way. Boom, baby from downtown media. Stinson hits a three to start the game off. Good pressure on this inbound too. McCaig loses it. He'll get it in the corner. He'll cross it to Rands, Erickson, Toloza. Toloza far side. He's gonna kick to Rands. Erickson, corner three, dumps it down to McCaig. McCaig's gonna with walk it. with it. Must have drugged that back foot. Klinger's gonna bring it up for the Comets. Klinger got nobody on him. Zyder, far wing, Stenson, Klinger, Hook, Stenson to Klinger. He's gonna walk with it. <clears throat> Teams trading travels here. Yeah. McKaig will bring it up against the Comets press. I mean, typically you don't even want to be trading buckets, but you definitely don't want to be trading turnovers. So those are drives, kicks, three on the way by Perry, off the mark. Ball's tipped around, Perry gets his own rebound. McKaig, open three, that one's off the front of the iron. Deloza gets his rebound, Perry has it. Erickson's gonna reset the offense, McKaig. Head fake there. He's gonna drive, he's gonna charge. Stenson drawing the charge there. Well, that'll be McKegg's first, team first, and that dubious honor of game first. Klinger once again bringing it up for the Comets. He's going to be met by Erickson. Zyder far side to Stenson. Hook, Klinger, Klinger tries to see Yaden down low. Can't get it there. Now Zyder to Yaden. Yaden gets stripped by Erickson. He'll go Erickson's coast to coast fouled. with it. Stinson tried to steal it while he was going up with it. Stinson's first. Comet's first. That's 
Erickson looking to put the first points on the board for the Panthers. First free throw off the back iron. Second free throws up. And it's off the front of the iron, but ball's going to be on the ground. Good looks scramble like, there. Looks like Yaden uh, slid out of bounds with the ball as uh, him and Erickson went for it. I just now realized that Yaden's not wearing his typical 21. He's in number five tonight. McKaig, shot fake dribble. We're going to get a foul on the offense. Maybe a foul on Perry. Perry picking up his first, team second. Thought for a minute he was uh, calling a foul on the shot. I was like, that was a delayed call. I've seen some delayed ones. Zyder thinks about Zyder. a three. Thought he traveled there. Zyder took like three steps. He did travel. Yaden loses it. Second time he's lost it down low. He's able to bobble that out. Stenson resets the offense. Hook near wing. Stenson drives. He gets stripped of it. They're going to call that out off of the Panthers. Klinger's going to inbound. Klinger gives it into Hook. Hook, shot off the mark. Yaden comes down with the rebound, though. He'll go back up with it. Put that one in for two. McKaig gives it to Rands. Erickson dishes it. McKaig, now Carter Klinger after the Yaden steal. He'll put up the basket and get it to fall with the and one. Erickson pass off of McKaig's hand. Yaden hits Klinger on the fast break, and Klinger is going to go to the line for a potential and one. Number 35. Shiloh Ryan in for the Panthers along with number 12, Alex Craig for the Comets. Klinger, first free throw, only free throw off the mark. McKaig pulls down the rebound. McKaig breaks the press. He'll put up a floater. It's not even gonna touch the rim. Comets up seven to nothing with five to go in the first. Yaden has it in the corner. Stenson. Stenson's gonna drive. He puts up a interesting layup, but he'll get it to fall. Sometimes, man, it doesn't have to look good. It just has to get through that bucket. Yeah, and that was definitely one of those instances. Keg almost loses it, gives it to Perry. Perry gonna start the offense here. Rand's working from the center circle. Pioneer trying to run a set play here. Toloza's going to have it. He's going to drive. He's going to get stuffed. No call on that end. Yaden did a good job of staying straight up. Stenson, open three. Boom, baby, from downtown Fulton. And that's going to bring us to a Pioneer full timeout to talk it over. Wow, what a big first half of the first quarter for the Comets. We'll be back after this word from our sponsors to see if they can keep up the momentum. You're watching Comets Basketball on RTC TV. Welcome back. Action underway as the Panthers have inbounded the ball. Panthers looking to break the press. They will get it across. McKaig with it. He's going to be at the volleyball line. Now Rands, he's gonna dump it to McKaig. Erickson, three on the way. That one's off the mark. Ryan's gonna come down with it. He's gonna throw it away. No, he finds an open man. McKaig thinks about the shot. He doesn't take it. He'll put that one up though, off the mark. And Craig's gonna come down with the rebound. Alex Craig making his first appearance of this game. Stenson drives, layup falls. 
Another interesting layup that was able to find the bottom of the net. Sensen so far with 10 of the Comets, 14 points as we click to the three minute mark in the first. Miller, far wing. He ended on the timeout. Rands tries to pass it, dumps it to Gavin Molenkoff instead. Now Zyder, open three. That was a little bit long. Craig with the rebound, he'll put that one in for two. Another timeout, 30 seconds from Pioneer. <laughs> Evidently, whatever they talked about that first timeout didn't stick. We'll be back in 30 seconds here on RTC TV. Pioneer giving up another two points to the Comets. Going to take a timeout, and uh, they'll have the ball back here as they work to break the press. Number two, Luke Blackman enters the game. Miller has it far side. Now Erickson up top. He's going to pull it out, reset. Drew McKaig gets a break. Shiloh Ryan with it. Now Toloza. Toloza's going to drive baseline kick. Long pass. Alex Craig is going to grab it. He's going to get swatted by Luke Blackman. No foul on that, even that though Blackman clean. rode his shoulder all the way up. I, I thought it was a clean block. The swat at the top was all ball. I will give him that. The one thing is there, Craig went up with his right. If you go up your left there, it probably does get called. Now Stenson, open three in the corner. Three from downtown Rochester. Now Erickson bringing it down quick. Cross court pass to Peloza. Miller with it. Miller pulls a three. That's a deep three. That was from the next area code, and that's going to be out off of the comments as they go for the rebound. McKaig enters back along with Zyder. 19-0 with two minutes left here in the first. Your Comets lead. Quick inbound to McKaig. Now Blackman. Erickson, near side, dumps down to McKaig. McKaig's going to get double teamed. They're going to get it to McKaig. Erickson, he's going to pull it out. He's got an open lane to the basket. He'll put that one in for two, giving Pioneer their first points of the game. Craig with it. He's going to dump it to Evans, far side, now Zyder. You got Craig up top. He's going to give it to Molenkoff. Molenkoff, Craig, Zyder. 80 Craig. seconds left in the first. Craig almost sends that one into... Blackman's hands now. Bubbled Hook, pass at the post. Hook doesn't get the pass. Now Toloza far side. He's going to give it to Miller. Erickson. Blackman to Erickson. McKaig with it near side. McKaig's going to catch to Toloza. Toloza drives. Floater puts it in. 19 to 4. 45 seconds to go. In the first quarter, Evans drives, puts up a floater off the mark. McKaig has it. McKaig gets it to Toloza. Toloza drives. He's a shot off the mark. Now Zyder's going to have it. Zyder's going to slow it down. 30 seconds left in the first. Might look for the last shot of the quarter here. Craig has it. To Molenkoff. Coach calling for them to look for something at 10 seconds here. And we've clicked the 10 second mark. Collins gonna start working the offense. Molenkoff drives, spins. He's gonna travel with it. Klinger and Stinson enter for the Comets along with number three, Looker Ryan and Looker and Micah Rams for the Panthers. Under five. five seconds for the Panthers to do something with it this quarter. Stinson tips that one out of bounds, three seconds to go. Uh, I'm going to guess they're going to look to give the ball to uh, Drew McKaig here in the final three seconds as he inbounds it. Rands puts up a shot from almost half court, does not fall. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, going into the second quarter here at Caston High School. Your comments lead 19 to the Panthers 4. Panthers start with possession, and they're going to look to start answering those points on the scoreboard. Ran gets the inbound. Panthers running a set play here. McKay to Toloza. Toloza is going to drive baseline. He's going to draw a foul. Foul number three. 
foul there on Klingler and be his first, team first. Inbound into Ryan to Toloza to Rands. Perry thinks about a three. He's going to kick to McKeg. McKeg takes a dribble. He's going to drive, spin, puts up a shot off the mark. Yaden with the rebound almost gets it stolen, but he's going to dish it to Stenson. Now Stenson working against Rand. Stenson drives, kicks. Zyder thinks about a three, doesn't take it. That's going to be out of bounds off of McKeg as the pass goes off his foot. I thought that had gotten down to Yaden and went out. Yeah, I, you know, there's a couple I'm, heads in the way down there. I didn't quite see that McKeg was there to knock it out of bounds. Inbound into Stenson off the mark. Now Perry's going to bring it down quick. That was Stenson's first miss of the night. McKeg drives, puts that one in for two. And on the other end, that's McKeg's first make of the night. Klinger, Stenson open three. Off the mark, Perry with the rebound. They're going to get it down quick to Rands. McKay got an open lane to the basket. He's going to put up a shot. That one's in for two. Lit Panthers coming out to start punching in the second quarter here. Zyder with it. Cross court. Oh, pass into the post. Yaden with it. He puts it up for two off them. Can't get it to fall. Perry's going to pull down the rebound. He's going to dish it to McKay. McKay working against Hook. Keg slowing down the offense. Rands has it. He'll give it to Toloza. Toloza back to Rands to McKeg. Perry. Keg cuts. He's going to drive. He's going to throw up a shot off the mark. Stenson gets it. Stenson has it. He's going to drive. Puts it in for two with the jump stop. That was some great footwork down there at the post. McKay gives it to Rands. Rands nearly got himself a backcourt violation there. McKay's got it now, far wing. This is to Perry. Perry goes up, can't put it high enough. He's gonna put up another one. That one will fall though. That was a great head fake that Perry had there. Klinger with it. He's gonna lose it, but Hook is gonna steal it back as Toloza misses it. Now passing to the elbow off the mark. Rands with it. Rands misses the shot. And Klinger pulls down the rebound and gets fouled. Foul there was on Ryland Toloza, his first, team first. Looks like Erickson and Miller enter for the Panthers and Reed Summers enters for the Comets. Summers had a big night Tuesday as well. Five minutes to go in the first half, 21-10, Comets lead. Hook, lob pass into Stenson. He's gonna dish it to Yaden. That one's gonna be in for two. Summers almost gets that one from McKeg. Now Erickson has it. Erickson beats Zyder. He'll dish it to Rands in the corner. Rands is going to drive baseline. Reverse layup falls. Summers with it quick. Stenson drives. Puts that one too hard. Yaden with the rebound. He'll put that in for two. Teams going back and forth right now. 25-12 with 4.30 to go in the first half. Perry dishes the Erickson. Erickson cross court to McKeg. McKeg drives, shot blocked. Second shot off the mark. Hook with the rebound, he'll dish to Summers. Summers bringing it down quick to Hook. Hook to Summers. Now Stenson. Comet slowing it down a little bit. Half the quarter gone. Hook, floater off the mark. He gets his own rebound though. He's gonna kick out to Summers. Summers gives it to Stinson. Stinson, deep three off the mark. Loose ball, it's gonna go out of bounds off of Miller. He tries to go for the rebound. 
Now Shiloh Ryan enters back in for the Panthers. And McCaig will sit down. Toloza like checking back in for the Panthers. Toloza checks in for Rands. Hook to inbound the basketball. He's going to give it to Stenson. Stenson. Zyder, three. Off the mark. Toloza pulls down the rebound. Toloza's going to pull it down quick. Shiloh Ryan puts that one off the gra glass for two points. Summers bringing it down quick. Stenson. He's going to drive. Kick. Zyder gets it. Zyder with it to Yaden. Yaden gets trapped. He's going to lose it, but it's going to go into Hook's hands. Hook's put that one off the glass. He's going to get fouled as he tries to pull down the rebound. Big foul down there. Foul there is on number 11, Ryland Toloza, his second, team second. Smith and Molenkoff enter for the Comets, and McCaig's going to enter back in for the Panthers. Erickson's going to get a rest. Yaden and Hook get a rest for the Comets. Lob pass into Smith. That's going to get stripped, but Smith is going to pull it away. Loose ball still on the ground, and it's going to get pulled out by McKeg. Now Toloza has it. He's going to dish it down to Ryan. Ryan puts that one in for two. It's going to be a timeout by Coach. Uh, Thirty-second timeout by the Comets. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. As the Comets inbound the basketball, Summers with it gives it to Zyder. Lob pass to Stenson. It's going to be tipped, and Smith is going to save it. But I think that would have been out off of the Panthers had he not touched it. Craig enters for Summers. Looks like Comets going to put it on a little bit of three-quarter court pressure here. They're going to play soft zone here. Just notice the Panthers have their deficit back down to single digits for the first time since the first quarter. Perry has it. He'll give it to McKeg. Miller to Toloza. Toloza's going to drive, kick to McKeg. McKeg cross court to Miller. Miller three on the way. Off the mark. Corbin Smith comes out of the rebound. Stenson with it. He's going to drive. He's going to kick to Zyder. Zyder thinks about a three, doesn't take it. Molenkoff will have it far side. Comets moving the ball around the arc. He's going to try and pass to Stenson, but Stenson was not looking. Now Molenkoff's going to foul. Molenkoff picking up his first, team second. Yaden, Yaden enters for the Comets, and uh, Erickson checks in for the Panthers. 25-16, minute 49 to go in the first half. A lot of contact down low. Nothing called. Erickson's going to have it. He's going to dish to Toloza. Miller, McKeg. McKeg's got a one-on-one -on -one here. McKeg dishes the parry. Erickson near side. He's going to pull it out. I think he got away with a little bit of a carry there, Pete. Erickson parry three on the way. That one's off the mark. Yaden comes down with the rebound. Excellent verticality by Toloza, though. And Erickson almost gets that steal. Stenson drives. He's going to go up. He's going to travel first. Panthers definitely cleaning up turnovers this quarter. Comets, on the other hand, half five. Shiloh Ryan enters for the Panthers. McKeg, Perry, Erickson, Toloza. They're going to get it across the timeline. Erickson has it with a minute to go. 
Erickson finds the keg to Perry. Perry spins, kicks to Toloza. Toloza gets it. McKaig has an open three, doesn't take it. Looks like maybe waiting for the last shot. That was an open three. Surprised he didn't take it. Perry gets to Loza in the corner. Ryan to Perry. Perry gets that one to roll in. Now just a seven-point deficit for the Panthers. Molenkoff nearly loses the inbound. Zyder with it now. Stinson. Comets are going to wait for the last the shot. Craig, lob pass into Stenson. It's going to be saved by Yaden. Stenson gets it. Stenson puts up a shot off the mark. Loose ball. Zyder, one second off the mark. Well, at the end of two, it's Comets 25, Panthers 18. We're going to step away and tally up some first half stats. We'll be back in a few moments. You're watching Cast Comets Basketball here on RTC TV 4. Zyder is going to get the inbounds. Klinger, far side to Yaden. Back to Klinger. Now Zyder. Zyder kicks the Molenkov near side. He's going to dish it to Yaden. Yaden lobs it into Hook. Hook loses it. He's going to get picked out of bounds. Comets still have possession of the basketball. Hook was only able to save that pass because of his huge wingspan. Inbound into Yaden. Klinger with it. Klinger gives it to Zyder after he picks up his dribble. Zyder gives to Klinger. Molenkoff. Klinger. Klinger's going to start the offense. Give it to Hook. Hook into the... Molenkoff, and that's going to be a foul. I think that'll be on Toloza. It will. That's Toloza's third. Team first. Blackman's going to enter for Toloza. Three fouls is going to be a little bit of foul trouble for now. Yaden. Perry knocks the inbounds out of bounds. Yaden used a little pick there. Tried to get open. Looks like Perry may have been a little, little discomfort right there. Klinger inbounds. Zyder has it. Zyder's going to drive, kick to hook. Hook, I think he took an extra step there. He dribbles right into the arms of Perry. That's going to be the first jump ball of the game. Arrow will go to the Panthers. <clears throat> Comets, hard pressure. Rand is going to bring it down. Blackman, open three. That one falls. Panthers scoring first once again. Two quarters in a row. Lead down to four now. Molenkoff has it near wing. He'll drive. He puts up a shot off the mark. Gets his own rebound. He's going to get fouled as he tries to put it up again. Foul there's on Blackman. His first, team second. Molenkoff, free throw up, and off the mark. Rolls around the outside of the rim. Molenkoff, second free throw. Uh, in and out, and McKay gets the rebound. He's going to bring it down quick to Blackman. Blackman, Erickson, top of the key. Erickson's going to drive, kick, Rams. Rams drives, got fouled there. McKaig drives. He's going to get tipped by Zyder, but he'll get it back. He's going to kick to Erickson, three on the way. 
That one's off the mark. Klinger with the rebound. I can't believe that Molenkoff got away with that. Yeah, that was definitely a big time hold on Molenkoff. That's gonna be a foul on Perry as he reaches around. I'm also really surprised that the Panthers fans didn't say anything about that, because that was an obvious foul on Molenkoff. Yeah, Molenkoff. yeah, I was, like there was nothing from him. Perry picking up his second, team third. Klinger gets the inbound, he'll give it to Hook. Klinger, far corner, gives it to Hook, top of the key. Comet's extending out a little bit. Molenkoff has it. Now Klinger, far side. Molenkoff. Klinger, Klinger dishes down low to Yaden. Yaden, hook shot off the mark. Zyder saves it and bounces it off the back of Blackman. Great athletic play there by Zyder to save possession. Ryan and Miller enter for the Panthers. Klinger looking to inbound. He'll inbound it to Zyder. No, Ryan gets the steal. Now McCaig's gonna have an open lane. He's gonna get fouled by Hook as he went up for the layup. Hooks first, team first. McCaig at the line. Could make this a one possession ball game. First free throw off the front of the iron. Now Craig and Evans enter for the Comets. McCaig, second free throw. That one will fall. That is the first free throw made tonight, Pete. Not a lot of free throws have been shot. Well, that's a fair point, too. Zyder has it. Zyder drives. He's going to kick. Hook. Three on the way. Off the mark. Ryan loses the rebound. It's going to be saved by Zyder. Ryan gets it. He's going to toss it to Rands. Rands to McKaig. McKaig back to Rands. Miller. Blackman near side. Now back to Rands. Rands gives it to McKaig at the free throw line. Miller, deep three. That one's off the front of the rim. That's gonna be a rebounded by Rands as he travels with it. That is Pioneer's first turnover in nearly 12 minutes, Pete. That's, if it wasn't for their first quarter, they'd probably have very few turnovers right now. Now Evans will bring it up as Stenson enters for the Comets. 4.40 to go in the third. Evans drives, layup off the mark. Rands near side. McKaig. McKaig dishes it to Ryan. Ryan looks for Rands. Now Blackman, open three, he won't take it. He'll give it to Rands. Rands is gonna drive. Shot on the way, it falls in. It's gonna be 25-24 with four to go in the third. Craig drives basically. He's gonna get fouled by Blackman. Not a lot of contact there. Blackman picks up his second, team fourth. Next foul from the Panthers does put the Comets in the bonus. Erickson and Toloza enter for the Panthers. Coach Davis has to be frustrated watching this 15 point lead uh, evaporate. Well, yeah. I think well, I think it was 19 to two, wasn't it? It was 19 four at the end of the first. Uh, yeah, but I think that uh, at one point it was 19 two. You're absolutely right. Evans puts up a shot. That one falls. That was the Comets' first score of the half. Panthers really found something in these last two quarters. Now Rams has it, he'll drive, kick to Erickson. Toloza puts it into Ryan in the post. Now Miller, Miller kicks to Toloza. Erickson, 
Erickson gonna drive all the way. He's gonna get swatted by Yaden. Yaden pulls it out. Stinson has it near side. He's gonna cross over, drive, spin, shot falls in. Brands is gonna get the inbound. He'll give it to Erickson on a handoff. Three minutes to play in the third. Erickson has it. He's working against Zyder. Now Toloza. Toloza's going to drive. He puts it up and it's going to be foul on Zyder and that's going to fall in. Zyder picks up his first, team second. McCaig enters for the Panthers with less than three to go in the third. 29-26. Toloza, free throw falls. High, arcing, free throw, nothing but net. Evans has it. He's gonna use a ball screen drive. A little jump shot from a little bit in front of the free throw line, falls for two. Now Rands, he's gonna have an open lane to the basket. He'll put that one in for two. Evans with it. Stenson loses that one as he looks away before he grabs it. Now Stenson kicks the Craig. Stenson gets it back. Stenson spin move off the mark. He's gonna, that's gonna get tipped in by McCaig actually. <laughs> um, it's gonna go towards Stenson, but that was McCaig that tipped that one in going for the rebound. Erickson has it near side. Rands at the center circle. Panthers resetting the offense. McKaig drives baseline. He's going to get trapped. He's going to kick Erickson three off the mark. That's going to be a foul on Toloza. That'll send the comments through the line. Toloza's fourth, team fifth. Stenson at the line. First free throw falls. Klinger, Hook, and Molenkoff in for the Comets. Uh, Perry and Bla Perry Blackman and Looker in for the Panthers. With just over 90 seconds left in the third, Stenson puts the first charity point on the board for the Comets. 34-29 is the score. 35-29 after that free throw falls. McCaig's gonna bring it up for the Panthers. Working against Molenkoff. He's gonna dish to Looker into Perry in the post. Perry's gonna get fouled on the floor. Uh, I thought he was gonna get called for a walk there. Grant Yaden picks up his first. Team third. Perry gets the inbounds. Erickson gonna have it top of the key. Perry, near wing. Blackman, Looker, three on the way. That one's off the mark, but Blackman's gonna get the rebound. McCaig has it now. One minute left in the third. McCaig spins. He's gonna put up that shot, and that's gonna fall. Klinger gives it to Stinson. Stinson drives. Reverse layup off the mark. Loose ball though. That's gonna be a foul on Molenkoff. No, no, it's gonna be on Looker. Looker picks up his first. Gonna send Molenkoff to the line to shoot too. There's some complaining from the Pioneer crowd. About the first complaining we've heard all night. Um, Amazingly, 
Amazingly. Yeah, there's been some there's been some interesting calls, but uh, and some uh, interesting missed calls. Yeah, but <clears throat> as Molenkov puts that first free throw in, it was you know that just shows how good the refs have been tonight. Though, if neither neither side has complained uh, much at all, and uh, Molenkov's second free throw will fall, 36-31. And I have to say, regardless of anything else, I feel like the officiating has been very even. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's something we've discussed before is that as long as it's being called the same at both ends, realistically, the, the team should just be able to adapt to it. Yeah. You know, as long as we're not getting down to, like, prison yard ball. <laughs> yeah. There, there is a limit there, but uh, Panthers are going to have it. After two Comet makes off the line, Perry has it down low. He's going to jump stop. He's going to get his pass tip. McCaig has it now. Well, a little lack of situational awareness there. Spin by Erickson. That one's going to go in and out. McCaig gets the rebound, though. He'll put it in for two. Klinger bringing it down for the Comets with 20 to go. He's going to dry. He's going to carry it. I know they're going to call it double dribble, but he... Yeah. Either way, he committed a turnover. Either way, you can't do that. That is, that 17 is seconds left here in the third quarter. Comets with just a four-point advantage. Rands has it, 10 to go. That's Man. gonna be over and back. He did not get his feet down before he crossed the line, which is why, actually, the issue was, he almost made it worse because he almost emphasized the jump instead of just going down. And I think that's what really hurt him there. Panthers fans now actively complaining about the officiating. Number 35, Ryan's going to enter for the Panthers. Comets going to look for a quick shot here with nine to go. 33-37. Smith. Evans just dribbles it into the hands of Ryan. Now Perry, Perry loses it, and that's going to end the third quarter. What a wild quarter. We go into the fourth, cast in 37, Panthers 33. We'll be back after these words from our sponsors. Stay tuned for fourth quarter action here on RTC TV. Me too. Evans inbounds the Zyder as we get into this last quarter. Smith has it up top. He's going to dish to Stinson down into the paint. It's going to be knocked out. It's going to be a foul on Smith as he pushes Rands. Smith picks up his first, team first. That seems like a, that seems like a bad foul. Yeah, that was, first of all, shouldn't have happened because we should have kept the ball down low and not lost it, but uh, here we are as the Panthers look to break this soft Comet press. Erickson dishes to Ryan. McCaig with it now. McCaig drives baseline, spins. He puts that up, off the mark. Hook with the rebound. Stenson has it, Stenson's gonna spin. He's gonna get stripped by McCaig. McCaig dishes to Perry. Perry's gonna take way too many steps before putting the ball on the ground. Comments need to start being smarter with the ball. They gotta be able to grab it and hold on to it. Yeah, you know, you have some leeway to be a little sloppy with passes and stuff with a 15-point advantage, but with four, that's anybody's game. In theory, and it's a one-possession ball game. Three on the way by Stenson off the mark. Smith gets the rebound. He's going to give it back to Stenson. We're going to get a charge here. I think that'll be on Smith. Legal screen. Smith picking up his second, team second. Yaden enters for the Comets, and Miller enters for the Panthers. As well as Alex Craig for the Comets. Keg has it. He's going to kick to Rand's far side. Now Ryan, Ryan, open lane to the basket. He's going to miss. Loose ball. As Yaden steps on it, it's going to be out off of Yaden. Panthers basketball. 
37-33, 6.45 to go in the game. McKaig pins Yaden. He's going to put it up for two. Craig gets it, hands it off to Zyder, dumps it down to Yaden. Yaden puts that in for two. McKaig kicks to Rands. Rands, McKaig. McKaig dishes it down to Ryan. Ryan shot falls in. 39 37 with six to go. Craig drives. Kicks the hook. Panthers fans were looking for a charge call there. Good body control by Craig to not let him draw that. Craig dishes it to Smith or Stenson. Now down into hook. Hook. We're gonna have an official timeout as we have a player injured in the paint. Didn't see what happened there. Perry's down on the ground. He was holding an ankle. I'm going to guess that he stepped wrong and rolled it. He's got one of them braced up. I think it'll be casting basketball. Now Perry's going to stand up here. I guess he... Probably rolled his ankle. He's got an ankle brace on that left one, so. And it looks like he's being ginger with the right one, so. You have to get another one after this. Ankles take a beating in the sport. Erickson enters for the injured Perry. Comets with the inbounds. Inbound into Aiden. Stenson. Stenson. Looked like he thought about a three from where he was. Didn't take it. And we got Craig, the volleyball line. He's going to kick Zyder down into the post. And that's going to be a foul on Miller. He reaches around. Miller, his first, team first. Inbound into Hook. Hook shot off the mark. McKaig with the rebound. McKaig, he's going to look to take it all the way. He's going to get it. Uh, rolls in and out. Craig comes down with the rebound. He's going to get fouled by McKaig. McKaig picks up his second, team second. Panthers fans getting a little louder. Now Toloza will enter as he has four fouls. Miller gets a break. Inbound into Zyder. Five minutes to go, 39-37. Comets lead by two. Stenson dribbles, drives, puts that one up off the mark. to be rebounded by Ryan. Hook knocks it out of bounds. Panthers fans won over the back call there. I was a little surprised there wasn't one given. Hook had his arm in there. Molenkoff back in. McKaig has it. McKaig dishes the Rhine. There, we're going to get a push on Yaden. Took a little bit for him to call it, but it was the right call. Yaden picks up his second, team third. Inbound into Toloza. McKaig, near side. You know, Stutter, Erickson, three on the way. That one's off the mark. It's going to be out of bounds off of Stenson. I'm amazed that there was no foul called on Toloza there. 
Teloza playing very aggressive. We're gonna get a timeout by Pioneer. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Pioneer basketball, 4.38 to play. Just a single bucket advantage in this That's gonna comment. be five second violation. Hard defense there by the Comets to draw that call. I'm almost amazed that the Panthers aren't putting more pressure on. Stenson has it far wing. He's gonna pick up his dribble, spin, kick it to Zyder, and that's gonna be a foul on Ryan. Shiloh Ryan, his first, team third. You know, I don't know if that was a foul there, but with the way the refs have been calling it all night, you just can't take that risk. I mean, they've called that almost all night, and you just gotta adjust to that. Zyder, near side, he's gonna drive. He's gonna put up, layup, puts it in for two. Zyder's first points of the night. Rams has it. Uncharacteristic few He's gonna shots. travel with it, he didn't get the pass away. Perry's gonna enter back in. Looks like he still might have a little bit of a limp there. Oh, he definitely does, but you know, sometimes with an ankle, the best thing you can do is just get back on it and keep it moving. Oh, he's got Perry's got to tuck in his uniform. Can't be hiding basketballs under there. <laughs> Stenson has it with half the fourth quarter gone. Stenson drives. He puts up the shot, and he's going to draw the and one. Perry went up with him, and Stenson hits the sh shot to draw the and one. Perry picks up his third in the team fourth. Next, Panthers foul. Puts him for shots. Stenson, first free throw goes. Only free throw goes. Getting three the hard way. That's the second time I've done that. It happens. Blackman enters for Rams. <laughs> Comments full court press. Comments hard press. Panthers are going to get it across. McKaig has it. He's going to get. Open lane, he's gonna kick it to Toloza. Perry, Blackman to Erickson. Erickson, he's gonna walk with it. He thought he, Hook was gonna put a little bit more pressure on him than he did and he had no resistance down there. Yeah, you make your opponent stumble step sometimes doing that. Molenkoff gives it to Stenson. Panthers with their fourth turnover of the fourth quarter there, making up for that turnover free second. Stenson gives it to Zyder. Zyder, shot fake, the hill travel. Back to trading turnovers here as Micah Rands comes back in for the Panthers. As well as Noah Miller re entering. Yeah, number 35, Shiloh Ryan back in for the Panthers. We're gonna get a full timeout here by the Panthers. All right, well, we're gonna fully take advantage of this opportunity to say thank you to those who will allow us to bring you this broadcast. You're watching Cast of Commons Basketball here on RTC. With only seven points of a lead, it is absolutely still anybody's ball game. Comments led by 15 at the end of one. Panthers done a great job to cut that deficit as the Panthers break the press, but Zyder tips the pass, and he's gonna try and save it, but he's gonna knock it out of bounds. Panthers get the ball. Toloza back in for the Panthers. Again, only one foul for Toloza to give. Pass into Miller. He's gonna give to McKaig. McKaig. Drives. He's going to put that one up off the mark. Peloza 
Might get his last foul there. That is Toloza's fifth. He'll sit down. That's five fouls. Off to shoot two. Toloza is going to sit down with his fifth foul as Molenkoff goes to the line. First free throw up and in. Every bucket helps. I mean, I think by the final buzzer, we're going to find that this game could absolutely have been countered on free throws. Free throw off the mark. Panthers with the rebound. Rands breaks the press. Miller, near side, dumps the Blackman. Rands, McKaig. McKaig's going to drive, kick to Ryan. Ryan puts that in for two. Now Panthers are putting on a press here. Six point game, 2.40 to play. Stenson's gonna bring it across right, as believe. Coach Davis takes a timeout. Well, in that case, we'll be right back. You're watching Casting Comments Basketball on RTC TV4. Comments ball. Gonna be inbounded to Molenkoff. Evans has it. Zyder, far side. He's gonna give it to Yaden. Now to Evans, near side. Comet's really playing deep. I'll tell you, if, if the defense isn't gonna come out to get the count, they might as well run some clock. Josh Evans dishes it to Yaden. Yaden Stinson Great puts that one in. Play. Great work by Thomas, not only saving that from being a turnover, but getting it down to score two. McKaig drives, he puts that one up for two off the mark. Zyder comes down with it. Zyder, or Stinson bringing it down. He's gonna drive baseline, Ooh, he's gonna I get I started to say, tell me that's gonna be a foul. McKaig picks up his third, sends Stinson to the line to shoot two. I don't understand the incredulity on the uh, part of the Panthers players. That was obviously a foul. Yeah, uh, McCaig put a lot of contact into Stenson on that one. First free throw does fall. Fortunately, does not appear to have messed with Stenson's calibration too much. Stenson looking to put this back into double digits for the first time since the second quarter. Second free throw falls, nothing but net. Erickson to Rands. Rands gives it to McKaig. McKaig's gonna drive, kick to Blackman. Blackman open three. That one's gonna fall, nothing but net. 49-42, Comets lead with a minute 30 to go. Comets gotta break the press. Stenson's gonna lob it to Zyder. Zyder's gonna step out of bounds. Yeah, there wasn't a lot he could do with that pass. Oh, and with Rands' heavy defense on him. It's an interesting pass for Stenson to make there. I'm slightly surprised that the comments aren't putting any more pressure on this, though the Panthers have been McKeg very the Blackman. Erickson, Rands, Rands to Ryan, corner three. That one's in, 49-45. Four seconds to go. Or four point lead, a minute to go. I thought you were going for the minute four and just forgot the minute. Uh, There's a lot of fours I was thinking of at the time. Yaden traveled with wow, it. Wow, yeah, he got away with that. Craig goes up with it, puts it in for two. 
Panthers fans absolutely right to be upset about that lack of a travel call. Erickson kicks to McKaig. McKaig deep three. Allen's in and out. Yaden pulls down the rebound. Thomas need to slow it down. Oh, that's a foul on McKaig. He reaches all the way across. McKaig picks up his fourth. Sends Stinson to the line to shoot two more. First free throw is up and good. Second free throw falls and we're gonna get a timeout by Coach Davis. I think that'll be a full. All right, stay tuned for the last 30 seconds here at the launching pad. You're watching Cast of Comets Basketball here on RTC TV. Four. Comets do have an eight point advantage, but we've seen some wild point swings here tonight. McKaig has it going quickly across the timeline. McKaig, Miller three on the way. That one's off the mark. Stenson's gonna pull it down. It's gonna be a jump ball. Panthers with the ball. 20 seconds to go, 23.5 to be exact. Panthers with five fouls. Comets, two fouls to give before they put the Panthers in the bonus. Panthers lob into McCaig. McCaig puts it in for two. Panthers smartly putting on a four court, full court press. Any foul sends the Comets to the line though. Evans is and there. that's one of those. Micah Rands picks up his second foul. Evans at the line, 53-47, 20 seconds to go. First free throw falls. Second free throw falls. Yaden enters for Evans. 19 seconds left to play here tonight. McKaig brings it up quickly, kicks the Rams. Rams three on the way. That one's off the mark. We're going to get a foul down here on Erickson as he shoves Molenkoff out of the way. Erickson picking up his first. But at this point, I don't think there's any such thing as a smart foul for the Panthers. Well, I mean, any foul that gets them the potential to get the ball back is a smart foul at this point, I guess. I mean, uh, I don't know. With an eight-point deficit, and it's still 13 seconds, and with a missed free throw like that, it only takes a couple threes. Well, fair point. Fair point. Molenkoff, second free throw falls though. 56-47, 13 seconds. McKaig brings it down quickly. He's gonna pull up, three off the mark. Molenkoff's gonna travel with it. Six seconds to go. Panthers ball, nine point lead for the Comets. Uh, I would say that this game might be over at this point. You know, I, I hate to state the obvious here, Three but, uh, on the way, off the mark. Blackman gets the rebound. Miller pulls up. That one almost falls, but too little, too late. 47-56, your Comets win at the launching pad. We'll be back with uh, some game wrap-up, interview with Coach Davis. Stay tuned for the post game. This is Cast and Comets Basketball on RTC TV 4.